Hello and welcome to It's Tomorrow News. I am Hina Talati. 150 million people under weather alerts, 9 dead as dangerous cold has gripped United States. A massive wave of Arctic air sweeping down on the jet stream gripped the white swath of the nation Monday as temperatures plummeted 20 to 40 degrees below normal fueled by the howling winds that placed almost half of all Americans under the wind chill watches and warnings. The weather was blamed for four deaths in Oregon where more than 80,000 people remained without power after being slammed by the high winds, ice and snow. A snowmobiler also died Sunday night when hit by the semi-trailer in Utah where the mountains got nearly four feet of snow in a day. In Wyoming, a backcountry skier was killed after triggering the 50-foot wide avalanche. And in Milkaukee, officials were investigating three deaths of the homeless people believed to have been caused by the hypothermia. Montana saw wind chills surpass minus 40 degrees Celsius. Texas called for energy conservation because of the unrelenting freezing temperatures and parts of the Florida braced for the freeze. About 150 million Americans, 45% of the nation's population were under the wind chill warnings or advisory for the dangerous cold and wind, according to the National Weather Service meteorologist. These wind chills could cause the frostbite on exposed skin in a few minutes and hypothermia shortly thereafter, the weather service said, and so avoid outside activities if possible. Weather-related flight delays again brought havoc to airlines and airports. More than 8,500 flights within, into or out of the United States had been delayed or cancelled by the ET, according to the flight aware. The main theme to our weather story over much of the lower 48 remains brutally cold and associated significant wintry weather, National Weather Service meteorologists said. Little has changed with the take-home message regarding the dangerous cold entrenched over the United States. Meteorologists said sub-zero temperatures and colder winds will prevail through Tuesday as wind chills dip below minus 30 degrees Celsius across the plains and minus 50 degrees Celsius in the Montana and Dakotas. Further south and east, potentially dangerous winter storms driving a mix of snow, slit and freezing rain were rolling towards the Tennessee Valley and Gulf Coast states to Washington DC, Philadelphia and New York. The good news is that by Wednesday the Arctic air mass will moderate. The bad news is another surge of frigid Arctic air is expected to plunge southward from Canada by weeks end and that meteorologists said could lead to more treacherous conditions across the Midwest and deep south. This icy zone will expand southeastward into the central and western Gulf Coast by Monday night, AccuWeather said. In Texas, the Electric Reliability Council of Texas ERCOT issued the conservation appeal for Monday, citing record-breaking demand. A wind remix is ongoing across the Delta and parts of the southeast Arkansas and southeast Louisiana. The National Weather Service said, while the accumulations will be greatest farther north and west and travel issues are expected across much of the areas. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.